Hello, air signs. This is Nick Nevin, the Witch of Seacliff, and I have a crystal ball reading for April 2017, and I'll pull out some charms later to crown the reading. And you can also watch, um, I will have a, a tarot card video for April as well. But we'll, I'll do that in another video because YouTube doesn't give me that much time. We need about 20 minutes or a video. So let's see what's going on for the air signs. So if you are Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, this is for you. This message. Well, I see I see a home and a boat, like somebody sailing home. But it's going over turbulent waters. What does this mean? There's something of financial um, finances coming through finally uh, it could be that you finally get a new home find uh, have money for a new home but there seems to still be um, emotional um, struggles because the water beneath is cloudy, and I almost see a person trying to keep afloat. Uh, there's smooth water above, but below, it's kind of dark, scary. And <clears throat> there's a path through. There's a path out of this situation. This, this underlying turbulence regarding home. I feel like I seem like a king upside down though. Like um I feel like you want to be in a position of authority and you want to have this home or this this domain. You want to be a, the leader. And you're, you're getting a lot of difficulty trying to establish yourself as lead. Um, and there seems to be a disappointment here. Um, seeing somebody that looks trapped, disappointed that, that they can't move into that, you know, into that house. Or that, you know, there could be an actual move into a house, but then there's this sort of psychological house where there's difficulties uh, regarding family members and or it could be regarding work situations other people around you are disappointing you and you're not able to reach uh, the su success that you want yet and this is really bothering you. Now, I'm not sure if it's that you need to work harder. I feel there's, you know, you know, a black and white situation that a stalemate, two people don't, you know, you don't back down type of situation. There's stubbornness here. And I think um I think there's a need for more cooperation and, you know, not having to have the lead, you know, it will possibly come to you. This is just a moment in time here, April, you know, it's not forever, but maybe if you relinquish some of the control or some of your ideas of how things should be, you won't have this this blocking from other people. You won't have this, you know, this, the others at work 
stopping you from getting ahead or the problems with a situation at home if you're a little more flexible. And I, you know, I do see that you've worked very, very hard in the recent past and, you know, you feel like you need to take a break, but it's not time yet to take a break. You still have to push forward. There's still a lot of action going on and there is a lot to be done. There's still a lot of work to be done. I do see someone in a high position moving to a higher level, you know, somebody working hard to move to a higher level. But, you know, it, it, it's still going to take some time. It's still, you know, there's success, but it, it, it just, maybe you w desire it too fast, or maybe... You know, you're pushing people away from you and not making, and you're making your life more difficult because you're pushing people away. And I feel that you need now to have a community of people. Um, you, you can't, it's not a good time for you to push people away and be alone. It's a time where you need to, to make connections and have more easy relationships, especially around work or some large, you know, area in your life that is something that you want to happen and make happen very soon. Maybe you want to make a business very soon. Um... And it's just not happening as, as quickly as you want it. Or maybe you want it you know, to move into that house right away. But you're being, making demands, and, and so it's taking longer. Um, like I said, there's kind of a stalemate here, you know, a, a black and white situation where it could be worked out easier if you let go a little bit, not try to control the situation, not try to control... Um, every little detail, Leave, you know, you want to be the leader, you want to tell people what to do, you want things done right, but you have to use tact, and, you know, they say, you get, you attract <laughs> more with honey than vinegar, so try to remember that in the month of April, that, you know, for some reason, there's this, you know, there's this big, you know, block here. And I feel that the block can be released easily um, just by being easier. Just be a little more easygoing. And then people will have more respect for you and they will choose to work with you. They will want to do things for you. They will want to help you get ahead. But being, um, I just feel that there's a sense of real independence here. And of course, everybody would like to be independent, but there is a need for working together right now and, and not, not showing too much force, you know, you can't be so forceful with people uh, in April. You have to be a little more lenient. You have to go with the flow a little bit, and then things will start happening and opening up for you in a much better way. So let me take out um, some charms. I have them in a bag, and I'll just shake up the bag, and I'll pull out a handful.
Okay. Well, we have the poisonous frog on the bottom. But at least he's on the bottom. He's on the way out. We have the anchor. The fly, the penny, another anchor, and the orange colored skull. Okay. So orange to me is, uh, it's a it's a color of creativity, and you want to you want to be anchored in a job that's creative for you. You want to be the head in charge. But there's the fly in the soup, <laughs> the fly around money. There's issues around money now, and like I said, if you the spider to me is someone creative. And somebody that makes a web, right? And the web is a metaphor for making a community. You need to be more communal with people. And uh, the people that are causing trouble financially for you, you need to be more resourceful at the way you deal with them. And <clears throat> the anchor is chained towards this community. So you you will do better to anchor yourself, um, steady yourself with people, hold your tongue. The poisonous frog, you know, is could be poisonous words. Hold your tongue a little bit um, or else it could go either way. If you if you can overcome you know, if you can be steady like the anchor, overcome your words, you'll create community. If you go the opposite way and not control your words, you're just going to produce more flies around your financial situation, around your job. You will become the leader. You will have a position of authority. You you have the you know the head at the top, and that's what you're anchored in. You have an anchor under it, so you will be in a solid position soon. But you have to create create um, the connections with people, um, just in a more generous way, so you don't attract the bad to you. And there's money in the middle, so either way, you're going to get money, but which would be the more pleasant way to achieve your goals, to create wealth for yourself, and, and just to have creativity in your life will be easier if people around you are more pleasant. So if you're more pleasant to them, I feel like you will create um, relationships that will help you get to be the head. But if, you know, like I said, it's going both ways. You know, there's this, this chain in the middle and the frog, the poison on the bottom. This could also be poisonous um, relationships, you know, from the past. He's on the bottom. He's on the way out. And you know, you need to let go also. The, the anchor was at the bottom here, so maybe you're kind of trapped and thinking there's two anchors. Maybe, you know, you're trapped in um, negative cycles from your past, and you're kind of holding on to that. But then there's a line. You can cross the line. You can cross over and get beyond uh, the past disappointments, but it, it's either creating, you know, wealth uh, with supportive people around you or creating wealth with antagonists around you. And I feel like you will become an authority, you will become um, a strong leader, but do you want to be the benevolent leader or the, you know, the person that barks orders at people, uh, 
it's up to you, of course, how you like to proceed. I see, I see that you will be making money and you will be in the lead. Um, but there's this this line here, and this can also represent boundaries. You know, try not to cross boundaries with people in April, and I think you'll have an easier time if you look at it like that. You know, don't let others you know, cross boundaries over you, but also, you know, watch, watch what you say to people, and, and look at past issues, and maybe how things m may have went wrong in the past, because maybe you were, you know, more aggressive, uh, in the past, and now you can, you can choose. You can choose to be either the way you were in the past or have a new future and a new, uh, a new direction. You will be creating wealth regardless, and you will be an independent leader regardless. But wouldn't life be much more pleasant if we didn't have the flies? Okay, I hope uh, this gave you some, some answers to some questions. And look for the tarot card reading uh, that will be coming out shortly. And you can contact me for a personal reading at nicknevintarot at gmail.com. It's all one uh, connected line. And I will read for you again soon, Air Signs. Have a great April. Bye-bye.